Albania may be one of the smallest and poorest countries in Europe, but it is rich in history. What is today's port city of Douros started out as Epidamus, a Greek settlement founded more than two and a half thousand years ago. Along the way it became an important Roman city with a 20,000 capacity amphitheatre which dates from the second century AD in which a small church was later built. The Byzantines also influenced Douras as did anti-fascist partisans. High above today's town of Lysia are the ruins of Lissus, an Illyrian fortification dating from the 4th century BC and one of the earliest from that time still surviving in Albania. It's been added to many times before and after the time of the national hero Skanderbeg, whose final resting place in Lysia also celebrates his many victories. Apollonia was once an important place for Greeks and Romans, and for Aristotle it was an example of oligarchy. By the 5th century AD, it is reported as having its own bishop. But since then, it's become isolated from the country's wider changes. Rosefer Castle, near the northern city of Skodra, saw Illyrians, Romans, Byzantines, and Venetians before Mehmet Pasha tried to capture it in 1478 with an army numbering a quarter of a million men. His siege failed but a few years later Turkish Ottoman rule was established throughout Albania. Nearly 500 years of Ottoman rule left many examples of civil engineering, like this magnificent bridge on the old road from Skodra, leading to the northern mountains and the Kosovan border. More evidence of the long Ottoman era can be found at the historic centre of Burat. And another castle overlooking it has reminders of many rulers. Up to the recent 40 years of communist rule. Tirana's origins go back at least to Roman times, as recently found mosaics show. But it was a minor town until the 19th century, only expanding rapidly after its choice as the national capital in 1920. Its unique development continues to this day, including one of the many thousands of bunkers built as defence against capitalist aggression. Kachova survives as an example of the planned economy, and it was once called Stalin City. It's also in the centre of the country's oil industry and this has lasted longer than some of the other state-run industries.
Not far from Barat and Kachoba, along the valley of the river Osum, the town of Polycon was an important centre of weapons production, with this factory extending below the mountains. During an uprising in March 1997, this town and many others in the south of Albania were taken over by armed rebels. But now this valley has returned to its more traditional way of life.